Our education system is constantly evolving as the needs of students change and fresh measures are put in place to help them thrive. Children are at school six hours a day usually, their relationship with teachers of huge importance. Now I'm pleased to welcome two Perth educators to the show who've just this morning been recognised as the best in the state. Jonathan Petch, WA's Primary Teacher of the Year and Tam Sheldon, the Secondary Teacher of the Year. Welcome to you both and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, <laughs> lovely to be here. Jenna, Jonathan, to you first. You yeah. teach year four and fives. What's most important to a child's successful primary school education, do you think? Oh, look, Tracy, we have the privilege of teaching little children with big dreams. So I'd say the most important thing is really the lifelong love of learning that we try to get across and provide those experiences and really make it an engaging learning environment so our children go on into high school and uh, follow on in their path no matter where it's going to be but with a lifelong love of it. Okay, yeah. well yeah, Tammy, I mean you teach home economics to correct. children from year 7 to 12. What do you do differently in how you teach? <laughs> I'm a little bit silly at times, <laughs> but I, I focus uh, on every student knowing their self-worth mm -hmm. and their value, um, make them find their place in, in the society and just making them realise how important they all are as individuals. Okay, so I mean what, what is the biggest hurdle do you think in helping kids learn in this modern day? Jonathan, to you first. Yeah, look, I think um, children have many different hurdles and challenges mm. um, in, in their life. So every, every little challenge is big for them. So it's really um, providing the learning experiences and the opportunities for them to experience things like resilience, to be able to bounce back from those challenges. And no matter what the challenge is for these children, um, it's a big thing for them. So being able to support them, create that environment, yep. um, help them out whenever possible sure. and um, to take them through those opportunities is the well, most important part. Tam as well, I mean yeah. you've got you've got the teenagers so obviously yeah, so changing brains very, there, yeah. yeah is it, it quite tough and in, in, in terms of evolving in, in this modern day age? It is. A lot of um, our students now are very protected so you really have to encourage them to, to take risks and to, that failure is like a really awesome option because you're going to be, bounce back from it because that's mm -hmm. life we all know we all know that you're going to have the challenges and you need to learn how can I come back and what am I going to do and how can I develop myself um, okay. by taking that risk you mentioned you, both of you on, on, on a similar scale resilience so what yeah. so what are the strengths and what are the weaknesses of, of this generation of kids do you think oh, oh look I think we <laughs> yeah. um, we should be really proud of mm -hmm. the children out there they've got lots of strengths there um, they're interesting, creative, um, they're motivated, yeah. and, and also <laughs> having the, um, the the World Wide Web like yes. available to them is it, it is as teachers uh, it is absolutely fantastic of okay. where we can really encourage them to be and where they can get their content from and how we can guide them um, into their success. But then they can also use their own development. Um, yes progressing through. Yeah. yeah, it is a big factor, isn't it? I mean, we always talk about screen time, but I guess For sure. with teachers there like is... yourselves, there's a balance there, isn't there? So yes. <laughs> thank you so much for all your efforts and what you do for our children and uh, good luck oh, for the future you. and congratulations again thank to you, Jonathan you so and Tam. Much. Yeah, <laughs> so See you Thanks later. So See ya.